Uh, of course, we didn't invent this language. We borrowed this language from uh, the incredible tradition that led to the establishment of our incredible republic. Alex, can you read for us the first paragraph and then talk through that with us? Happy to do it. Thank you, Yvette. And so uh, it begins with, we the undersigned endowed by nature and nature's God with certain inalienable rights do declare that the authority to direct the education of citizens rests with family government and not with civil government. We affirm and declare that a flourishing society is built upon families that are free to exercise those rights in order to fulfill their obligations and responsibilities to future generations and further declare. And so, uh, you know, right at the beginning, I, I, I'm sure people who... Um, got a decent education will recognize some of this language, right? A, a mm -hmm. lot of it is very familiar to people who've read the Declaration of Independence, which starts off with, you know, we hold these truths to be self-evident. It starts off with uh, nature and nature is God. Uh, of course, we didn't invent this language. We borrowed this language from uh, the incredible tradition that led to the establishment of our incredible republic. Um, mm -hmm. and, and in fact, Thomas Jefferson, who, who primarily wrote the Declaration of Independence, did not invent this language. Uh, a lot of it was borrowed from some of the greater thinkers that came uh, before him. Uh, in fact, uh, this whole concept of nature and nature's God, this was a concept that was explored by Sir William Blackstone in Commentaries on the Laws of England. There's a very profound significance to this language. And I think it's important that we started that way because we're starting here with something that's transcendent. It's not like this is our opinion. And so right. pay attention to our opinion. No, no, this is something rooted in transcendent truth. God is the author of nature. God is the author of nature's laws. And so this is very, very significant that people understand. This isn't just the opinion of some people who came together and wrote a declaration. These are principles that are rooted in the eternal that God has revealed through nature and also through revelation. Um, and our founding fathers built on that in the Declaration of Independence. Of course, that, that paved the way for our great republic. We're hoping that reminding Americans of these principles will help pave the way to once again having a flourishing society like we, at least at one time in our history, had. Yeah, yeah. Um, as I was reading through it and I was kind of highlighting different parts of it, I, I of course, hi highlighted and bolded the endowed by nature and, and nature's God. Um, at, because, again, that's where it all starts. In the beginning was, you know, in the beginning, beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Like Jesus, God, he is the creator. He is, as we talked about in Monday's episode, he is the one who rules over all creation, right? Because he's the one who created it. Um, and so that's where our authority is established. But then I love that it goes on to say that the authority to direct the education of citizens, being our children, little citizens, rests with a family government and not with civil government. And so that's where this points back to as a homeschool family and as a mom, like I just think about that and think, man, it is my responsibility to direct the education of my children. And we know, of course, that education is discipleship. And that's a huge deal for us as parents to understand that it's not just about, and we talk about this on the podcast all the time, but it's not just about reading and writing and math. It is about pointing our kids to Jesus, and we have a great responsibility to do that. It is not the job of the civil government to do that. And then, Alex, you mentioned um, the part, it says, where it says, we affirm and declare that a flourishing society, flourishing, I love that word, I love that you guys put that in there, is built upon families that are free to exercise those rights. That's where I think we've lost so much in our society today. Yeah, and I do think the emphasis on families is really, really important here. Um, you know, yeah. we don't want just atomized individuals. Family is really, it's an institution that's ordained by God, and it is the building block of any flourishing or, or even decent society. When you get rid of family right. as the building block for civilization, what happens is a horror show, and uh, we're kind of seeing the fruit of that today in our society. It's, it's an absolute atrocity. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 